Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rita or welcome for the very first time if you're new here. Today we have a different background. Uh, this is going to be in our brand new home which we've been here for at the time you're watching this video maybe a month or so. So we're still trying to adjust or at least I am to deciding where I'm gonna be filming, what's gonna be my background, all of that good stuff. So for today I'm just in my, uh, in my master bedroom and since we're not going to be talking about makeup, I thought it really wouldn't matter to be in the bedroom. So for today, we have a very, very exciting video. And uh, let me show you real quick. It is a coach unboxing. It's always exciting for me to get a new coach purse. So let's get all of this situation under control and get the actual box. Beautiful wrapping as always. I really love it. Uh, this purse was released not so long ago, so it's going to be a studio bag, which as a whole, it's a brand new bag that was introduced, I don't remember when, but sometime around this beginning of this year, and whenever it came around, I wanted a studio bag in that more cushiony, uh, soft leather, but then this one came out, and as soon as I saw it in store, I knew I had to get it. Original price, uh, it's a retail bag, of course, uh, li lists for $450. I did not want to pay so much. <laughs> so I kind of waited, waited it out until about a month or so, right before or right after we moved into the house, the bag went on like 40% off. So I ended up paying around $240, which is a great deal. So today we're gonna be unboxing this new beautiful Coach Studio. But before we go ahead and do that, be sure to subscribe. It is super easy and it's 100% free. Just hit this little red button that says subscribe and be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified every time that I post. So let's get to it. So let's take off the beautiful red ribbon and let me put it up. It is a little bit hard to maneuver with one hand. Sorry about that. Okay. I'm gonna break this up and we get of course the bag as you can tell I haven't opened this and I've had it already for a couple of weeks but I was waiting to do an actual unboxing so let's oh my goodness it is so pretty whoops there we go look at that this is the name of this bag is going to be the coach studio signature jacquard and like i was mentioning it retails for 450 dollars it is a beauty i'm gonna get a little bit closer to show it a little bit better of course i still have to unpack it i'll probably do it off camera and then show you once it's unpacked this is a beautiful shade i believe this is going to be the same shade as the pillow tabby like that uh off white, not really off white, this is like beige, very beautiful beige. I feel like it's gonna go with everything. That's why I want it, and honestly, it's perfect for the summer. So let me go ahead and take off all of this packaging, plastic paper, and then I'll be right back. That took me a hot minute, but here it is, all clean and no more packaging. It is absolutely stunning. Honestly, whenever I saw it the first time, whenever it came out on the website, I thought it was very pretty and I was intrigued, but I wanted to see it in person. So once I went in store, it literally took my breath away. I know I'm a little dramatic, but honestly it is even prettier in person the only I don't know a little bit of a downside is that it's gonna be like um, I don't know if it's, a, it's I think it's canvas but it's not coated canvas so it is going to be very easily damaged so I'm gonna have to be very careful because this is after all just fabric so careful with my hands with lipstick any makeup which might be or might sound like a little too much for a purse but I think it's gonna be worth it because again, I look at it and I think it's just beauty. I love the very subtle monogramming that it has like on the front and then the shade of beige is just stunning. I really, really love it. All of the hardware is going to be in the beautiful Coach uh, Brass. I call it Coach Brass because that's like, they're kind of like gold shade. It is very stunning. The C is um, just in all of the studio bags. It is pretty big, it's significantly big for the bag but I think it just looks so stunning. And such a cute little detail about the studio bags is that it comes with a little tiny mini key, which I know, what, what an extra thing. But let me show you real quick. So it's going to be located on the side of the bag. So look at that. 
look at that beauty. So you can actually lock your bag to avoid, you know, someone from getting into it. So the way you open it, by the way, it has no feet. I always mention this in every single one of my purse videos. That's a very big thing for me. I wish all of my bags had feet and whenever they don't, I honestly do get disappointed, but it is what it is. That's how the bag came. It does not take away from the beauty, but it would have been definitely a very nice extra if the bag had come with uh, feet. So that always protects the bottom of the bag, especially this one whenever you know it's actually fully touching the bag if you put it on the ground or any surfaces so the bottom of your bag is gonna get ruined very easily if it doesn't have the feet so anyway it does not have them it comes with only one strap which you cannot remove so for that i feel like it's not such an elevated bag or you can't use it as elevated as opposed to like a top handle which i love the more delicate bags that you can just use a top handle this bag i would honestly just use it for like an everyday bag for maybe wearing tennis shoes like something a little more casual as opposed as a more uh kind of like a more i don't want to say elevated again <laughs> but compared to doing a more put together outfit because this is going to be just more casual because it's going to be only like one strap and it's a long strap that you can use as a shoulder bag which is what i always mention is my preferred way of carrying a bag or you can do crossbody which of course always makes a bag even more casual before we get into the inside of the bag you do have a pocket on the bag which I really love. I have a couple of other bags that have this exact, exact same pocket and I love to just carry my phone in it. My phone is pretty big. If you hear any noise, that's Lucy behind us right here. So it is a very easy way to access your phone fast as opposed to just put it inside of the bag, having to open it and then take out your phone. I love whenever bags come with a little side pocket. So for instance, here is my phone. I have the Samsung, uh, the newest Samsung, the biggest one. So basically the Note. And you just put it in there and it fits really nicely. So if you have a big phone, this bag will definitely fit it. And it is kind of tight. It's not gonna be like a super uh, big pocket, but you can actually put your phone in it. So the way you open the bag, let me get a little bit closer. You just click on this. If it's not locked, of course, you click on it and then you just pull up. You can see the little hole right there that's gonna be the keyhole. So if you do end up um, locking it, realistically, I don't think I'm gonna lock it, but I love that has a little detail. It just makes the bag a little bit more unique. Once, once you open it, it's going to have this beautiful, almost light brown microfiber that is super, super soft to the touch. And the actual bag in, inside has uh, three different compartments. So a skinnier pocket on the back right there, then the bigger pocket right in the middle, and then on the front you get another semi-skinny also pocket, but definitely it's gonna be the uh, way bigger than this one and the one in the back. So I am going to like always pack it with everything that I would normally use like on my everyday. And then by the way, you also have this little pocket in the main compartment so you can maybe throw in i don't know that's where the care card is by the way so it's a very simple bag no zipper it doesn't have a ton of space it's gonna be a more of like a medium bag i wouldn't say it's a small bag but it's just a medium shoulder bag so i would think i would compare this in size probably to my pillow tabby uh, i feel like around the same just by looking at it that about the same would fit so I am going to grab, or I have here already, my bag that I'm currently using, which is another coach, but this is from the outlet, which I'm thinking about doing a review on this one. Let me know if you're interested because this is a beautiful bag and it's still available. And honestly, I haven't fallen in love with a retail bag in such a long time. But anyway, we're not talking about this one. We're talking about the studio. So this is the one that I'm carrying right now. So I am going to take everything out of my current bag and pack up the studio and then I'll show you what everything fits. So here it is all packed. So you can tell I have everything. This is nothing too extra. I didn't want to like be extra just like realistically what I had in my other bag with the exception of two items that I'll show you in a minute. But um mostly everything fitted at least the essentials and then a little bit extra so for me essentials are gonna be my mask my phone 
my hand sanitizer, wallet, and keys. That's the essentials. A little extra is always good, like, you know, your lipstick, maybe uh, some Kleenex, and stuff like that. So let me start taking things out. I'm trying to see how... It's always hard to do this with one hand. So here in the very corner, I'll take this out because it's the biggest thing I am carrying. And I honestly, if I'm going to be using this bag, I wouldn't go and use a little makeup bag like this. I would just take out the things that I use the most. The most. So I have a little um, Lisa Eldridge makeup bag, which I just have in here... My usual that I always carry around, my straw, I've got a little hand lotion, my Merit lip oil, a mirror that I always carry around, and then lastly, a little lipstick. So if I were going to be carrying that bag, I would probably just pull out a couple of things from here, like, like let's say my... Um, my straw and for instance my mirror so from this i would say these are like absolutely essentials especially if i'm gonna go out to eat or you know go out with michael for dinner a bar drinks whatever i am going to need my my straw so this would much easier fit and make my bag feel more comfortable just by itself and then on the very bottom i do have a pen which i always carry a pen with me and then next to that, where I took out the, um, the makeup bag, this is so hard. I have a key holder, which this is a uh, outlet key holder from Coach. I do carry my car keys and my house keys in this little pocket. It is of course bigger, I suppose, as if just carrying like a keychain with your keys. But this is how I like to carry my keys since I bought this last year. And I haven't, you know, I haven't switched back. So it does fit, but of course it's gonna be a little bit more bul bulkier. Like let's say if you just carry a keychain, you'll probably be able to fit more things as if you're using like a little pouch. And then of course we have my uh, Kleenex. And then I've got here also a Merit lipstick in the shade Millennial that I've been wearing literally for my everyday. So that always is kind of like the lipstick that I've been carrying in my purses. And then that's all that was on the, oh my goodness, on the middle compartment. So I didn't really stick anything in here. I think I would just use this for like, if I'm out and about and, you know, receipts and whatnot would go back there. And then on the first little pocket right here, we've got my hand sanitizer. And I do have my little pill holder, which I always carry with me. I just carry Advil's and Tom's. I cannot be out and if I start getting like a headache, I need to get a pill immediately. I cannot stand the headache. And then lastly, I have my, um, my little wallet, which is just a card holder and it does have a little zipper. So it's not like the biggest, but it's not super tiny or super skinny. It's a little bit more, a little bit more bulkier than a little card hold holder that I also usually carry, but I recently changed to this one and that's what I've been carrying. So those things, which is which are basically the essentials, fit without any issue. Also, if I do add, decide to go for my makeup bag, I can, but if I wanna just make the bag feel a little more comfortable, I just wouldn't take it with me. Just being realistic, I wouldn't carry it. And the bag closes really nicely without any issue. So that is everything that fits. I want to show you with my Kindle because I always like to showcase my Kindle in case you are someone who carries it around on your commute every day to work or whatever you might be using it for just to show you if it fits if it fits or it doesn't. Let me just grab it real quick. So here it is. I do own the basic paperback. I believe that's the name. So I don't know the dimensions, but if you're familiar with Kindles, you probably know how much or how big it is. So if you wanted to carry this, or if I wanted to carry this, it fits. Okay, there we go. So it definitely does fit, but I am kind of like trying to adjust things around to make it a little more, I don't know, a little more comfortable because it is a little bit, uh, it, it gives more bulky, I guess. It's a little more bulky if I throw it in there. But as you can tell, it fits very nicely if I don't take, like if I'm not carrying the little makeup pouch, it fits without any issues. And it's not closing actually, so it's still open and I'm trying to close it. There we go, I was able to close it. 
So the bag is packed to the max, but just to show you, if you have to take your Kindle around, I probably won't be the person who carries my Kindle whenever I'm wearing this bag. So if I'm going to a place that I want to take it with me, then I would definitely just grab a bigger tote, not like a shoulder bag. So here are the matcha, so you can tell how the bag fits me. I did switch it to the very uh, last little hold. So it is going to be in the shorter version. If you're taller or you like your bags crossbody, you have seven options, by the way. I feel like that's an extra little hole. I feel like usually bags only have like five or six options, but this one has a lot of adjustments, which I really like. Just, you know, if you like to have your bag a little bit more uh, longer or a little bit shorter, you do have the options. By the way, I am 5'4 for reference in case you're wondering how tall I am. So it fits me really comfortably on my shoulder, uh, right on my hip. So that's how I would prefer to carry my bag in general. If I don't carry my bags as a handheld, or in the crook of my arm, I go for my shoulder. So that's gonna be everything for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you are picking this bag up or if you have it or maybe any of the studio bags. Maybe by the time this video is up, this bag is probably still on sale. It's been on sale for a little while, so probably around a month that it's been on sale. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.